Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking on that button. So if you've been with the channel for a while, you know that firebox stoves are my go-to twig stoves. I've been using them for quite a while now. I have the folding 5-inch stove in stainless steel. I also have the stainless steel firebox nano with the X case. I personally think they're the best stove on the market. They're the most versatile for several reasons. You can burn wood, solid fuel, alcohol, and butane in them without any issues. You can bake, cook, grill, fry. I really like using my firebox stoves. Now I have something new to me, the firebox five inch in titanium. Let's take a look at it together. I'll compare it to the stainless steel version. Is it as good as the stainless steel version? Is it better than the stainless steel version? Is it worth the money? Let's take a look. Here are the two units side by side. As you can see, they're basically identical. The only difference being the materials. Here's the stainless steel version, titanium. Now before Steve from Firebox Stove brought this titanium version to the market, he did extensive testing to make sure that this version would perform just as well as the stainless steel version. My friend Gary from Boreal Ventures has been using one of these for about a year without any issues. I've had this one for about a month. I put many a fire through it, lots of breakfasts, shore lunches, many pots of coffee. I've had many, many fires in this stove without any issues at all. I've done a lot of cooking on the stainless steel version and I've also done in-depth reviews on the stainless steel version. So I'm going to direct you to the reviews and the cooking that I've done on the stainless steel version so you can take a look at those as well because basically the same information with the stainless steel will pertain to the titanium version. One big difference between these two stoves, we might as well talk about it at the beginning, is cost. When you're talking about titanium versus stainless steel, you are going to pay a premium for titanium. Cookware, stoves, cutlery, you pay a premium for titanium. It's much more expensive to purchase and manufacture. So why would you buy a titanium stove? Especially if you're like me and you already have the stainless steel version. Well, the first thing is weight. Let's call this one the stainless steel version, the heavy duty version. Fitted as you see with two fire sticks, an ash pan, and also a light cotton storage bag. It comes in at 33.3 ounces or 944 grams. This one here, titanium, fitted out exactly the same, comes in at only 17.5 ounces or 496 grams. Now that is an incredible weight savings. They're about half the weight. There's another thing that you can consider when you're dealing with these two. Titanium will cool off much quicker. So you can get this put away back in your pack on the trail much quicker. Another thing about titanium, it is slightly more corrosion resistant and you cannot disregard the cool factor. I mean, titanium is just cool, isn't it? Why would you spend the money on a titanium stove when you already have the Firebox stainless steel? There's a few reasons. Well, when you add another stove, you double your capacity, right? So you can cook two things at once. It's way more convenient. As well, when you're using a Firebox stove, you're really practicing leave no trace camping. You can have two fires going, leave no trace. That's always a good thing. Another thing, all the accessories available for the stainless steel firebox stove are available in titanium for the titanium stove. So you can have a super light complete system. But all the accessories that fit the stainless steel version will also fit the titanium version. So if you already have this one like I do with all the accessories, you can use them in your titanium stove. They will work just fine. Now I have a few accessories in titanium, the grill, the quick boil plate. I'm going to demonstrate those and uh, we're going to get to cooking real soon. But that's something you can do if you already own the stainless steel version. So here's both stoves with the extended grill plate. Here's the titanium one. Here's the stainless steel one. As you can see, the stainless steel one fits perfectly with the titanium version. 
and all the accessories are interchangeable just like that. Here are both stoves fitted with the quick boil plate as well, completely interchangeable. Just as effective in both units. All right, let's get to the good stuff, the cooking part. A while ago on my YouTube channel, I asked you all what you wanted me to cook when I was testing out this stove in the review. The most frequent answer was steak. Shout out to the keg. It's a great steakhouse up here in Canada. Here's a bone-in rib steak. It's a monster. It's I think it's 21 ounces, 22 ounces. Anyway, it's going to feed two people. It's a great steak. Let's get a fire going in the firebox stove. We'll grill this baby up. So we're cooking steak. We're going to need a nice bed of coals. I was going to go Swedish torch, but then I thought, you know what, I'm going to go log cabin style in creating this fire. Now you can burn charcoal briquettes and lump charcoal in the firebox stoves. Works great. I've done it many times. But today, let's go with some nice seasoned maple from a dead standing tree I was able to harvest. wind is going to be my nemesis. As always, drop that fire starter down in there. And we'll let this fire and the coals develop. I'm not going to keep you around for all of it, but I'll take you back when there's a good bed of coals and we can start grilling that steak. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this steak will fit. Perfect. Oh, that is gonna be good. All right, let's flip this baby. Oh! This titanium firebox is doing a amazing job <laughs> oh dear look at that let's get this off going for a rare to medium rare look at that barely fits on that eight inch cowboy plate now I got a little surprise a little bonus that we're going to cook up on here. So just this morning I was able to harvest some lobster mushroom. There's that beauty right there and a handful of these beautiful chanterelles. Let's get some heat on these mushrooms. They're going to go great with our steak. Nothing like wild mushrooms. So I guess we should cut in, see how I made out. He's going for rare to medium rare. like I might have nailed it. I will call that a medium rare. Oh, this steak is like butter. It's like butter. Wow, look at that. Not sure if the camera is picking up how delicious that looks. Beautiful ribeye steak with lobster mushroom and a golden chanterelle. Mmm. That lobster mushroom? Fantastic. Okay, what are my final thoughts? Should you buy one of these stoves? 
So what are my final thoughts on the 5 inch firebox stove in titanium and do you need one? Well it depends on the type of person you are. If you are looking to reduce the weight in your pack so you can go further faster then I would suggest you get this titanium stove. I mean it's half the weight of the stainless steel version and it works just as well in my opinion. Half the weight is a huge difference in your pack. When combined with the fact that the accessories from the stainless steel stove will fit this titanium stove, also that titanium is more corrosion resistant than other metals, it also cools down quicker than other metals, this might be a stove you could consider. Also, it's just a cool stove. I mean, look at it. I got my stove from Boreal Ventures. I will be leaving a link down below where you can check out Boreal Ventures, all their great gear. And if you use the code WW10, you will get 10% off your entire order. That's a really good deal for you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. There are other Firebox stove videos around here that you can check out. Cooking videos, reviews. I like these stoves a lot. Maybe you could check out those videos as well. Take care, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.